The Exmoor is an app that is featuring an arranger. And the arranger inside the app is audio based. To prove the point, I'd like to run a uh, pattern that is featuring a choir that we recorded. <laughs> So this recording will run for a long time if I like that, but I can now change the tonality, the chord structure of the choir in real time by just touching on the surface of the iPad or on the iPhone. can see the arranger is audio based I can use it like that and of course we have put many many patterns so let me select another pattern this is a blues so I push the seventh button here F and then I can start the blues also we have four different variations of every pattern which I can access like that. Okay, so um, this is the touch mode, just in a brief explanation that you can use like that. And if uh, you are a guitar player or a saxophone player or something like that, of course you need your fingers for playing your instrument. So you can, for example, use the chord sequencer and uh, load a chord progression such as a blues or you can put in your own chord progression into the chord sequencer. And then again, I just press play. Now the blues is running automatically. I don't need to touch on, uh, on the iPad and I can just jam along with this pattern. So it's as easy as that. This is the touch mode of the Xmure app. We have two more modes at the moment in the Xmure app. So if you happen to have any kind of keyboard or piano with a uh, USB MIDI port, you can connect your device and then you can go into instrument mode. You set a split point on your keyboard and you can now play the chords on the keyboard in real time. So this would be the instrument mode, but there is a third mode. And this one you can use when you happen to have a Dexible Vivo piano. Because connecting the app to the Dexible Vivo piano will open the app for free. And also you will have already several patterns for free. Okay, so you can again select your patterns here. And uh, let's use maybe some hip hop pattern. And uh, now I can, for example, play, press sync start. And uh, on the S7, I can even assign two switches for controlling the app by the switches of the S7.
just like that. Another feature that we have inside the XMUR is the compatibility with uh, the iReal Pro app. In the iReal Pro, you find thousands of songs. It's like the real book without melody. So many, many songs are already transcribed in there. What you can do is you select the song you like to play. In this case, it's on the sunny side of the street. And then, let's just do that in real time. I want to import this chord structure into Xmur. So open in Xmur. And here we are on the sunny side of the street. The chord structure is imported. Now I can select again any kind of pattern. So let's start with the swing. But now I want to change the taste of this song. So let's select another pattern, for example, rock pop. Same song, different flavor. So on. This is actually also a very, very nice pre-production tool because if I'm writing a song, I can also type in the chord structure of the song into the chord sequencer and then I can invite the singer and I can try the song in different versions, in different variations. Once I decide which is the final version that we want to go, I can push the export button and then I can actually render the uh, complete arrangement into a two tracks mix down or a four tracks mix down, uh, no, a single track mix down that I can then import into uh, Logic or Cubase or any kind of DAW that uh, you are using. Okay, so to go back one more time to the Ave Maria, I would like to use the chord structure of On the Sunny Side of the Street but combined with the choir of Ave Maria. So this is a very interesting experience. And again, it's proving the point of the power of this engine because we are using audio data and it's not just parallel transposing all the arrangement. It's really changing the voicings of the chords in the right way to make it sound very musical. Off we go. Oh. 